smile isn't as beautiful as it once was. <laughs> okay. Everybody. Hey everybody. You're watching channel Crowman17. I'm Crowman. It's me. Sorry for the bandana. I don't like wearing the bandana, but I've had some serious dental work done recently. And uh, my smile isn't the best. It isn't what it was right now. And it's going to pretty much be like this for probably, well, from what I hear, four months. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to wear the bandana to, to, uh, to the rally tomorrow. I don't want to, but I might anyways. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, I, I've, I've, uh, I've been really busy and I've been a lot of, uh, I've been going through a lot of recovery from this the last few days. I've been on a lot of Norco. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. So basically, we got a big weekend ahead of us. It's Thursday. Um, Thursday, November 9th. Yeah. Okay. So yesterday, of course, was a one-year anniversary of the the election of Donald Trump. Congratulations. Thank you, Trump. As you all know, liberals were just a leftist, the whole entire left. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be so so broad, but uh, yeah, we're just a little bit less, a little bit more, slightly more crazy than they usually are when they all screamed up at the sky yesterday in protest to Donald Trump. Literally, I mean, that's pretty much been their argument since the election started. It's really just mostly a bunch of screaming. And, of course, when we have our rallies and whatnot, that's that's also what they do. You know? So you pretty much just, just take it all and cram it all together into one one day, and then that's what you got. That's what you had yesterday with uh, with everybody screaming their heads off. I, I don't know what they changed I actually had to ask a couple of people, ask my neighbor if she did this. I didn't think she would, but of course she didn't. Uh, hey, I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Anyway, so yeah, a few things we're going to go over. Big weekend ahead. Tomorrow, Berkeley. November 10th, we're doing the... Uh, there is... A march against Hollywood hypocrisy, which I greatly support. I'm not sure if anyone else has noticed or follows me on on Facebook about the uh, 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 Corey chat. Uh, Corey Fettelman, uh, he's doing this video that he, he wants to make a video and he wants support on it. Yeah, I don't know if it's if he's just trying to. You know, I really doubt that he's trying to just scam a bunch of people, but uh, I, I I do. I, I believe him. You know, honestly, it's, it takes a lot of guts for somebody, especially for a guy, to come out and admit that, you know, he was another guy fooled around with him. <sighs> especially when, you know, especially when you've been passed around like him and his other friend Corey were in Hollywood. It's pretty, it's pretty disgusting. So, I, uh, Corey, if you're watching, I have, you have my support all the way. And please check out, check out his video. And if you can support Corey in doing this, I would really appreciate it. And this, this needs to happen. Hollywood needs to go down. I, 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 I am not really that surprised. I kind of had suspicions that Hollywood really was filled with a bunch of rapists and pedophiles. And what a surprise. It actually is filled with rapists and pedophiles. And... <laughs> I don't know, am I the first person pointing this out? I'm gonna tell you this right now. All those people, they don't vote Republican. These are registered Democrats. These are friends of the Democrats. These are friends of Hillary. These are people that Obama has given awards to. I'm sure you've heard about it. You just looked around on YouTube. A lot of this stuff has been reported on before. Uh, I really, I really do appreciate this happening. Because I don't know, of course, I don't know if I would be able to go if it was somewhere else besides uh, Berkeley. Right now, my transportation is just screwed. I, I, I really, I have burned all my funds 
doing what I do, and I am a, I'm as broke as a joker right now. I'm, I'm just lucky that I still have this, and even though I'm not making any money, and I didn't still yet to make any money on, on, on my channel, here I am, still going. So whether you're watching this on Facebook, or YouTube, or Minds, or Vidme, which is the, the four most common places that I upload my videos now, I appreciate your support. Please give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. Check me out. It's Crowman17, all of them. Crowman17 Facebook page. Crowman17 uh, YouTube account. Crowman17 uh, uh, VidMe and a Crowman17 Minds. I wanted to upload more videos on the Minds.com, but I can't because um, it just it takes like twice, sometimes three times as long to upload a video on the Minds.com. And sometimes it never even gets, gets uh, uploaded. And both Minds and VidMe.com, I can't, I can't, um, I can't upload videos that are more than 30 minutes long. I would really like to make these, these websites work better for me, but it's a struggle. I do appreciate everybody who has subscribed to me at Minds.com and VidMe.com. And I do still slowly load stuff up there. I'm sure a lot of you noticed that lately I just haven't been uploading a lot of footage at all. Because, like I said, I've been kind of flying on 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 Norco, and uh, I, like I said, I had my I had some dental work done. Yeah, the other day I, mean, I had some really I don't know if anyone cares to hear some pretty crazy dreams while I was on while I was on this stuff. I, I kept waking up all night long, over and over again. Sometimes I would wake up, and sometimes I wouldn't really wake up. Sometimes I would just dream about waking up, but I'd be right there in my bed. And when I look over the edge of my bed, I was like on top of a 60-story skyscraper and just looking straight down. And I was like outside a window or something on the ledge. It was, it was, it was actually pretty terrifying. I mean, it was scary. Like, but I was like, yeah, this is my bed. This is where I'm sleeping. I just have to pray to God while I'm sleeping. I don't accidentally roll off and you know, fall and drop to the ground below. But yeah, crazy dreams. I also, I was, honestly, okay. I'm not, I don't mean to go uh, freaking <laughs> Wizard of Oz on you, but I saw a lot of people that I've met over this last year in my dreams. I, I, I kid you not, this is crazy, okay? Uh, who's there? Let's uh, see. Patrick, you were there. Kyle Chapman, you were there. Justin, I saw you. Uh... Barbie, <laughs> the girl that everyone calls, the auntie calls Barbie, I saw her, but it wasn't really, she wasn't actually there, I was in a bar with Kyle Chapman, and and YouTube came up on the TV for some reason, I don't know, it was a YouTube on, in a sports bar up on the TV, and there she was, there was Barbie, and they were they were accusing her of having been something, and it was like, does this girl look like a something to you, and I don't remember what it was, but I remember I was sitting there at the bar, and I was, and everyone around me, it wasn't just, it wasn't just Kyle, but there was like a bunch of other people that I had met too that I didn't recognize. He was the only person from my dream that I re remember being there at the bar and we were all looking at this thing like going, wow, this is like a new low. What are they going to come up with next? Who are they going to accuse of being what now to try and demonize us? And, and I was, it was another part when I was actually going to this bar before I just appeared in it, I'm like walking up this trail and I'm like, I'm in Oregon. I'm literally in Oregon somewhere. And, um, and, and I'm walking, I'm looking at the dirt and these trees and I look up and I see these two dudes in front of me and they both have long hair and I'm thinking, I'm like thinking about their hair. I'm like, huh, I wonder his hair is longer, their hair or my hair. And then I'm looking at the back of this guy. I'm like, this guy looks really familiar, the two people in front of me. And I say, hey, and the guy turns around and it's Justin, Justin Antithias. I'm like, oh. Oh, okay, what's up? <laughs> and we keep going. We walk over the hill. And as soon as we get over this hill, I see, like, buildings, and I see streetlights and stop signs and cars and whatever. And then that's when, we, as we start going down the hill, that's when the, the group suddenly just turns into a huge group of a lot of people, pay, uh, people from Patriot Prayer and the Proud Boys and all this. And before we know it, that's when we're in the bar. So, yeah, really, really crazy dreams off of this Norco stuff. It's, it's, it's been, it's, it's been, it's been crazy. But, uh, yeah. So that that's what I've been up to. And and tomorrow, March Against Hollywood Hypocrisy. And then on Saturday, the next day, God, I feel really torn, and I don't even know if I should mention this. A family member of mine has passed away recently and they're having his funeral tomorrow. This isn't someone that I was extremely close to. 
Um, so I'm going to try and fit both in somehow, but I'm going to go to... I'm going to the, um, the event on... I'm going to the event on, on Saturday. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, if I can make it to both, like I said, I will. But, um... Whatever happens, happens. So, I, I got some other stuff here that I'm going to go over really quick. Let's see, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for everybody who liked uh, the footage I posted about the rodeo. It was my first rodeo. Very exciting. Uh, let's see. Yes, March Against Hollywood Hypocrisy tomorrow. Uh, I posted recently a video that Justin did where Tabitha woman explaining helping Corey Fiddleman. Thank you. I do appreciate it. It's not like I asked you to do it, though, but I think I, I know people whose hearts are in the right place. Like Bernie Sanders. Hearts in the right place. Ideas are flawed, but the heart's in the right place. I would love to meet Bernie Sanders one day. I would like to shake his hand just because I know him. He's a great guy. Yeah. Uh, Antifa failed to throw over, overthrow the government. Apparently they did do some stuff, though. I saw some pictures on Instagram uh, where they were actually blocking people from going to the polls, trying to stop people from voting. I don't know if you could be arrested for that, but you should be able to. I don't know. I, I would call that treason, but, you know, things have changed so much recently that God knows, God knows what's what anymore. Togo's doesn't serve Pepsi products anymore. They got rid of my Mountain Dew, so I'm not going to Togo's anymore. That's old news. Yeah, okay, so I saw, uh, you guys saw my interview with, um, uh... What is the difference between a raven and a pro? Uh... The guy who was... Long and glorious. What's up, guys? Crowman17. I'm Grown Man, and my special guest is Keith. Keith. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. I'm terrible with names. Keith. I'll never forget your face, man. That scary video. What else? I can't remember. What, what was it called that, we, that was happening? Something for veterans? Hmm. God damn. Something for... Oh, man, I'm just, like, wasting time right now. I'm surprised I didn't post about it. What the hell? March against... Oh. Right, right here. Pretty much just see that it's an event. It's a Patriot Prayer event. That's that's all I know. So so yeah, a lot of the boys I know that are that are going to be there will be there. The Patriot Prayer. That that's going to be on Saturday. Uh, Amber accepted my Facebook friend request. Thank you, Amber. It's, so did my cousin Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> yes. Well, my family's going to see me for the first time in a long time. Because I didn't go last year during the, when it was the election. I, I decided not to go for a number of reasons. Uh, the election was a big part of it because my family is very, very liberal. And I've grown very distant with them for a long time, for, for the last couple of years. That is part of the reason why I didn't go last year. But there, was a, there were several other reasons why I declined to go last year and stayed home. So... This year is going to be the first time in two years that I go. It's very traditional that uh, every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, we go visit my grandma. And we usually do Easter, too. So, yeah. Last year, I pretty much took a vacation the whole year. I didn't go to any of my any of the events to visit my family. Yeah. And, yeah. What else? 
Okay, so uh, yeah, so you notice I've started uploading videos onto my Facebook now, and you see a lot of a lot of videos on my Facebook, just because of how biased YouTube has become. I'm pretty sure that CEO is gonna run YouTube into the ground. I don't. What else was I, I was supposed to talk about? Let me ask you. Leave in the comments below what else I was supposed to talk about. I know I have a number of things. Two events tomorrow. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be getting footage. I got a little. I got some. I got some time off for the weekend. Jeez, what else is happening? Oh, I want to give out a shout out to my Clash of Clan party. You guys do Clash of Clans, but yeah, I'm a member of Kekistan. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say what's up to uh, to the Poon. Uh, Glarch, <laughs> Zachary. Yeah. Um, a lot of these people are actually pretty cool. I've had some good conversations with them, and thanks, thanks to you guys for subscribing to my channel. Nice. What's the oh, here's, here's. So it is, it is, it is Kekistan. So <laughs> I'm gonna read just a few comments here. I don't even, I haven't even really read them yet. I'm just gonna read them over see. What's the difference between Jews and a pizza? Oh, I've heard that one before. Yeah, that one's terrible. You all know the answer to that one. <laughs> Again, this is Kekistan, so it's meant to be offensive. What's the difference between faux whoops? Oh. The difference, what's the difference between Cam Scouts and Jews? Oh man, a lot of Jew jokes. Basically, what started this was I said this. I said, I said, Hitler said, I'm sorry about the Holocaust. I was really drunk at the time, and I didn't know what I, I don't really remember. So I now choose to live my life as a gay man. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram, and I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> like, you do something horrible, and then you can just come out as gay, and then it makes it okay, and they'll, they'll, they'll see you as a hero instead of the demon that you really are. It's fucking, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe how many people are coming out as... as rapists! Rapists, rapists, rapists. Yeah, let me tell you this. What? Steven Crowder said it. The only place that is actually a liberal bubble is Hollywood. Hollywood is the only place where everyone is is, is living by trigger warnings and, and you know microaggressions and all this crap and this feminism uh, law, basically. They're bullshitting everybody. Everybody who buys into the crap, it's complete hypocrisy. Complete hypocrisy. And that's why I'm supporting this. That's why I'm going to this rally, because it is complete hypocrisy. The people who are telling you that you're fucking up because of something you said, meanwhile, these people are over here raping somebody, probably a little boy or a little girl, more than likely, or somebody. They're fucking rapists, they're pedophiles, they're perverted. This has to stop, and honestly, I am in love with following, watching this whole empire crumble. It is beautiful. It almost makes me sad, but not really, you know. <laughs> To see that, yes, yes, the DNC was, in fact, rigged. Rigged in favor of Hillary Clinton. But, um, come on, now, did it really take this long for them to be like, oh yeah, that really did happen? Well, I knew. I knew. Who did? Who else knew? We all knew. We all knew it. And only, only now are they finally admitting it. And, you know, I bet there's still some people out there that would, would deny it. People that aren't even a part of it that would still deny it. Just because... Just because you're in it too deep. That's why I've always tried to stay as close to the middle as I possibly can. Because if you get in it too deep, if it all turns out that it's wrong, if it all blows up one day, it doesn't blow up in your face. You're not standing right next to it when it explodes. So try to stay in the middle and don't don't <laughs> don't, don't take my advice. All right, you want if you if you want to bury yourself in liberal bullcrap, go ahead and do it. Okay, and even if you want to be on the right and bury yourself in right wing bullcrap. Go ahead and do that, too. I am now a proud right-winger. I didn't used to be two years ago. But, um... But I just... The, the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy, the negativity, the pure, raw hate that is just oozing out of the left is so unattractive. My, I just... I would have to say that there is no such thing as a good salesman on the left. They, they don't sell it to me. 
it, it's basically, imagine a salesman who comes to your door and tries to sell you something by saying, basically, if you don't buy this, all these horrible things are going to happen to you. Are you going to be really inclined to buy it? You're not. And, and, and that's what, that's their sales pitch. That, that all these terrible, terrible things are going to happen. Or that you're just a terrible person if you don't buy our shit. And that's exactly what it is. It's shit. They got nothing to sell you but shit. And their only sales pitch is that you're a, a terrible person or that terrible things are going to happen to you if you don't buy. Well, I'm not feeling ready to buy yet. It is that negativity that is what actually pushed me from being in the middle to going more to the right. But yeah, anyways, I think I've covered just about everything. I'm sure I didn't. I'm, I'm sure there's, there must be something else that I'm, that I'm missing. Oh, I, yeah, so, um, oh, yeah, it turns out that you can't really go live on Patreon. Patreon is linked to um, YouTube, but you can't, I can do some things that are live. Like, I can go in like this, this uh, voice chat. If you guys want me to do that and you, you want to come hang out and, like, do a, a chat with me on my Patreon account, we can do that. Other than, other, uh, otherwise, you're still going to have to wait an entire another month before I can finally start doing live stream videos again. And who knows what YouTube might become between then and now. I'm just still a whole nother month. I don't even remember what day it was that I was banned. But yeah, I still have I still have weeks, weeks of, of, of this. And I just started to get to know uh, live streaming, and it became really exciting for me. So and then and then just like that, just when I really started to get used to it, they take it away. So um, I'm not sure if anyone else noticed this. Uh, the, uh, the who else noticed the the YouTube YouTube's um, survey they actually put out that survey and they even told people to don't hold back I, I wonder just how how uh, how much this survey is going to uh, like are they really going to actually examine the survey and learn anything from the survey at all I don't think so and at the very end of the survey this the, I, I, I honestly feel those questions were they got gross they got sick they made me sick I couldn't believe they're actually asking me what gender do I prefer to identify myself as? What, what do I prefer? What, what do I identify myself as? Like my, what do I most relate to? What gender do I most relate to? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't. And then ask me for my sexuality. Why does YouTube want to know what my sexuality is? Okay, I know it's saying all anonymous, but still, why do you want to know what the sexuality of your users are? And then we want to know my ethnicity. And then it goes even deeper about your ethnicity. Did anyone want to? Then it wants to know like. After asking you what your ethnicity is, and then it wants to know if you're Hispanic or Mexican. Like, are you, are you fucking serious? I, I pretty much decline to answer as much of those as I can. You know, it, I, I, I could have been honest and like, well, yeah, I, technically, yeah, I'm Hispanic. But no, I, ever since I was in high school, whenever I come across questions like that, I always click to decline to answer because it's none of your fucking business, that's why. And you shouldn't be judging people on that anyways. That's racism. That's prejudice right there. And it's funny, and I just think it's so, again, the hypocrisy, the irony, that is the people who preach against it the most, that want to know the most about it, the, the ones that are always using it to their advantage the most. Oh, man, it is just gross. And, and it is, and again, it is so funny to watch this whole empire come crumbling down from the Hollywood elites to the, the political elites to, to everything. Everything is just caving in on itself. It is all just corrupt hypocrites. And they're all going down. And I cannot wait. I cannot be more satisfied with everything that's happening. So like I said, don't put yourselves too close to one side because if it ever turns, if it ever blows up, at least it won't blow up in your face if you're not standing right next to it. Put yourself in the middle. Anyways, I really appreciate everybody checking out my channel. Thanks for uh, being with me tonight. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, any questions, oh, dude, there's another thing. Okay, so I I know some people gave me some information on how to make a, a better video creator. Um, don't tell me, uh, don't leave it in a comment because I get so many comments now that it, it, it's hard to sift through all of it and, and, and a lot of it's kind of negative and it's kind of depressing. <laughs> A lot of people like to talk a lot of crap, but there's a lot of there's a lot of comments. So if you want to get a hold of me and you want to help me out and uh, give me a, a something that's really useful, so I can piece my videos together again and, and like make the cool stuff I was making before I went broke, 
um, send it to me in a message or, or hit me up on my Facebook page and you can send that to me in a message too. Or you can even send me a message on my Instagram. Uh, I think there might even, be, might even be ways to send me messages on um, Minds and Vidme. So uh, if, you, if you have any advice for me, please reach out to me. Send me a message. Don't leave it in a comment because I might not ever find it. And I, I would really like to produce the same quality videos that I was producing before. So uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow. And thanks for supporting me. Thank you again to all my Patreons. All one of you. I might be getting some soon. Who knows? And and um, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for this weekend's events. I can't promise that I can upload everything right away, but I will upload things as fast as I can. Because as you all know, as soon as Monday hits, I'm right back to work, and it's it's just not that easy for me to be able to just go, you know, boom, you know, come home on a Sunday night, especially after a two day. Uh, adventure and just start uploading everything uh, and, and make sure that everything I'm uploading is you know something that I want to upload <laughs> so um, so be patient I might upload things like I usually do anything I record on my phone if I have the opportunity I can upload it in standard definition from my phone so you'll be able to get that right away uh, not that's not always the case though so um, I, I really hope to see you guys tomorrow and uh, well Thanks for tuning in. I love you. Que hasta los unidos se grande otra vez. Y ve con Dios, amigos.